Right, in the TCL Grade 1 uh, workbook, uh, the circle of fifth page, um, it can be quite confusing, uh, especially for uh, new newbies um, uh, regarding the circle of fifths. The only thing that we need to remember with the circle of fifths it is that it is a map um, of the keys to use, keys in using music. Remember, we have C major and we have D major and E major. That are the different keys that we use in music, and these have their own key signatures. Remember, so um, the different keys, different keys have their own. key signatures. Now remember what is a key signature? It is the sharps or accidentals that we need to, sharps or flats or accidentals that we need to put in front of the key that we're playing in, in order to make it sound major or minor or um, whatever mode we're going to play in. And this is very important because we know that C major has no accidentals. So C major at the top, C major has no accidentals, no accidentals, no accidentals. Remember, an accidental is a sharp or a flat or a natural sign. So, accidentals is the sharps or the flats or the natural sign. So, there's no accidentals. Nothing we're going to put in front. Um, no black keys that we're going to play. If you have a look closely here at the Trinity College Grade 1 workbook, you'll see that right there we have C major, but there is absolutely no accidental. However, if we now go to the right, and always remember this, if we go to the right of the circle of fifths, we are going to add sharps. And if we go to the left, we are going to add flats. All right, so the next key that we're going to get, if we count five, we count five steps up, but don't worry about the steps. The only thing that we need to remember in grade one is the next one we get is G major, C, D, E, F, G. Five steps, G major. And G major has one accidental. And that is F sharp. If we have a close look for the right hand, the right hand, we'll see that there is our F sharp. If we go to the left, <coughs> we'll see that F major is the next one. So we go down a fifth. C, B, A, G, F. F major. And F major has one, also one accidental only. And that is called a B flat. You can see right there in the Trilith College book we have a B flat and we can now go five again from G to get to the next one which is D and we can go five again to get to A and we add a sharp each time but there's a little bit more to that for now for grade one all you need to remember is that Remember that key signatures are the sharps and flats that we put in front of a piece to make the piece easier to read and to keep the music in its in a major or minor or so that it sounds correctly. The tone semitone relationship is correct. If we go to G major, we find one accidental F sharp. If we go to F major, one accidental B flat. The circle of fifths, in fact, is not something new. We've already done. Uh, key signatures and keys like C major and F major and G major and learn that there is sharps and flats. This is just an easier way, it's like a diagram, a little guide that each musician can use in order to, 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 to remember and work out the keys a little bit 
better. It is quite difficult sometimes to remember all um, all key, key signatures of all the scales. So this just makes it a little bit more easier. The only thing that we need to remember is actually what it does is it just shows us that G major has one accidental F sharp and that F major has one accidental which is B flat.